Hey everyone, welcome back to theartofconcrete.ca. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down two cutting edge materials, glass fiber reinforced concrete, or GFRC, and steel fiber reinforced concrete, or SFRC. If you're wondering which one is best for your next project, we've got you covered. Let's dive right in. First up, GFRC, glass fiber reinforced concrete, is made by mixing fine aggregates, cement, water, and glass fibers. What makes it special is the addition of these glass fibers, which significantly increases the strength, flexibility, compared to regular concrete. The fibers are typically alkali resistant to withstand the concrete's high pH environment. GFRC is often used in thin walled and lightweight applications. Think architectural panels, facades, and even decorative pieces. GFRC allows for intricate designs and can be made and molded into almost any shape. It's lighter than traditional concrete, making it easier to install but its strength shouldn't be under, as underestimated. Those fibers give it a significant boost in durability and crack resistance. Because of its versatility and lightweight nature, glass fiber reinforced concrete is perfect for creating detailed textures, cladding, and prefabbed concrete elements that are easy to transport and install. Glass fiber reinforced concrete is being used for concrete countertops, fireplace mantles, sinks, facades, wall features, all kinds of these different elements. Next, let's talk about steel fiber reinforced concrete, or SFRC. Unlike GFRC, SFRC uses steel fiber reinforced instead of glass. These steel fibers are mixed into the concrete, giving it an extra toughness and resistance to cracking. These steel fibers are small, but incredibly strong, typically ranging from 0.25 millimeters to one millimeter in diameter. These fibers help improve the concrete's ability to handle tensile stress, making it more durable under heavy loads. SFRC is often used in heavy duty applications, such as industrial flooring, airport hangars, highways, pavements, and tunnels. It's designed to handle significant stress, making it ideal for environments where concrete will undergo heavy traffic or dynamic loads. SFRC offers superior crack resistance and toughness compared to the standard concrete. In projects where durability and impact resistance are key, SFRC is a game changer. Now that we have the basics down, let's compare GFRC and SFRC directly. Both of these materials reinforce concrete in different ways, and the best choice depends on what your project needs. GFRC is much lighter than SFRC. Thanks to its use of glass fibers, this is perfect for lightweight applications like decorative panels and facades. If weight is a concern, GFRC is the way to go. Steel fiber reinforced concrete, on the other hand, is built for strength. The steel fibers give it superior impact resistance and load bearing capacity. This makes it ideal for projects like industrial floors, highways, and tunnels. Both glass fiber reinforced concrete and steel fiber reinforced concrete offer improved crack resistance compared to traditional concrete, but glass fiber reinforced concrete allow it to be more flexible. This is a key advantage in projects where the concrete might experience a movement like cladding or decorative pieces. 
Glass fiber reinforced concrete is typically more expensive, both in terms of materials and in labor, because it often requires specialized molds and application techniques and tools. Steel fiber reinforced concrete can be more cost effective cost effective in large scale projects, especially when you're looking to replace traditional rebar and reinforcement. Now the steel fibers are more costly. So the actual fiber additive for the steel fiber reinforced concrete is more costly than the uh, glass fiber reinforced concrete. The fibers that go into the glass fiber reinforced concrete are less expensive than the steel. So you use glass fiber reinforced concrete when you want a lightweight, flexible material that can take detailed shapes and textures. Glass fiber reinforced concrete is perfect for architectural elements, facades, countertops, thin walled structures where weight and aesthetics really matter. And you want to choose steel fiber reinforced concrete when your project requires extreme durability, impact resistance, or the ability to handle heavy loads. Steel fiber reinforced concrete is great for industrial floors, highways, tunnels, airport hangars, any infrastructure that will experience significant stress. So your glass fiber reinforced concrete projects would be great for a DIYer somebody who wants to construct something that's super durable for their home um, or just wants to experiment a little bit with concrete. Fiber reinforced concrete is, uh, is interesting to work with. I've built um, really unique sinks using glass fiber reinforced concrete and I've also used free form fabric. So I've taken like a stretched fabric and um, I've been able to create really interesting structures using glass fiber reinforced concrete. Um, so, you know, if you're a DIYer, I'd recommend that. The steel fiber reinforced concrete is going to be much more difficult to get your hands on the steel fibers. Um, sometimes you can get it through a ready mix supplier um, or a small construction stores that specialize in concrete supplies. Um, but a lot of these places don't sell these particular fibers. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in getting some of the glass fibers. I just wanted to add that glass fiber reinforced concrete typically exhibits compressive strengths ranging from 6,000 to 10,000 PSI depending on the mix and the curing process. The glass fibers allow the concrete to flex up to two to three times more compared to than traditional concrete. Steel fiber reinforced concrete has a compressive strength in the range of 5,000 to 12,000 PSI, depending on the fiber content and the mix design. Steel fiber reinforced concrete has a tensile performance of up to 50 to 100% compared to traditional concrete. Both glass fiber reinforced concrete and steel fiber reinforced concrete offer huge advantages for modern construction, but the right choice depends on your specific needs. Whether you're looking for lightweight, intricate designs or rugged, durable performance, these materials can push your project to the next level. We hope this breakdown helps you decide which material is right for your next project. Be sure to hit that subscribe button Leave a comment if you found this helpful and let us know in the comments which fiber reinforced concrete you choose.